few weeks ago, we decided that we wanted to start hatching our own eggs and thought that olive eggers might be fun chickens to hatch because they make beautiful green eggs and because we have both breeds that are ideal for parents. We have Americana hens and we also have Freddy who is our Copper Moran rooster. So the olive egger is made from chickens that produce dark brown eggs and blue eggs. We have both of those. So in the course of the past week, we've collected, I don't know, probably about 20 potential olive egger eggs. And we do have a very young I am Samani rooster who is in the chick shaw as well. So some of these might not be olive eggers. But we decided that we would collect a few eggs and put them in the incubator and see how they go. Our copper morans are especially broody. So we only get a couple of copper moran eggs a day right now out of about eight hens. They're lucky we haven't turned them into soup yet. So we're going to hatch these out. First run, just to see how things go. Some of the eggs may not be viable anymore because I maybe waited a couple days too long. So I'm going to put these in the incubator. We bought a Hovabader Genesis from our friend John. Uh, he has a uh, cabinet style incubator now for his big operation and uh, got it running. It's been running for about 36 hours. It's maintained the internal temperature exactly where I set it. We just lowered the temperature to 100 degrees and it's plenty of water in it. So the humidity has been steady at 65 and it has an automated egg turner which appears to be working really well. So I'm going to put these eggs in it and we put them in with the pointy side down. And as you can see, these are really little eggs. Americanas lay small eggs. The copper moran eggs are significantly bigger, like probably about 40%. So the olive egger eggs should be a little bit bigger and a nice olive color. And um, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, we improvised the stopper with uh, a bottle stopper we had on hand. And I'm going to take the lid off and put these in. I'm not going to turn it off just because I don't think it's necessary. All right, so I'm going to put the eggs in. I'm going to give them a nice spacing. And we will be removing the egg turner at about day um, 18 or 19 so that as the chicks are hatching, they don't get crushed. That would be bad. And even though we have Araconas, we're only using Americana eggs. As you notice, some are very small uh, because there are some questions about the real parentage of the um, Araconas. Mm. Why do you keep passing one by one? So they have lots of space to get nice airflow. All right, they're in. Let's see how many do we have. Four, seven, 11, 14, 18 eggs. So we now have put all 18 eggs inside the incubator and the temperature dropped from 100 down to about 93. It's now back up to 96 almost. It's very, very dry where we live. The humidity outside right now is probably 15 to 20%. And the humidity in the incubator is right now about 25%. So it needs to get back up to about 60. Oh, it's actually 40, wow. So. This incubator is readjusting the temperature and humidity very, very quickly, which is a good thing. The incubation period for chicken eggs is 21 days. And if we have chickens hatching sooner than that, then the temperature is too high. And if it takes them longer to hatch, temperature is too low. We should know in 21 days how successful we were. Look forward to showing you something fun. <laughs> One of the chicks is hatching. I didn't even see that one moving earlier. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's breaking through. This one right here is actually emerging from its egg. You can see it moving. This one also we expect to hatch pretty shortly as well as that one. You can see they've poked through. I know, isn't that incredible? So earlier today when I took them out of the egg turner, I put them in here still nice and warm for them and they rolled around i guess the floor is not um, level or it's on you know what it's on top of a lego manual that's why it rolled a little bit and i thought that if they rolled around that they wouldn't hatch but um it looks like that one right there is going to hatch as well i can see where its little foot is trying to break out 
so since that's a nice round egg, that one likely will be a girl. I learned today that those in uh, more um, elliptical eggs tend to be boys. Oh, wow. This is the coolest thing ever. I ever seen. It can take them up to 24 hours to hatch, and we're not going to bother it. As soon as you get a little more footage, I'm going to put the top back on so they stay nice and warm in there. So right now it's 9 p.m., and this morning, around 8 a.m., I heard some chirping, and I thought it was something outside, and then I realized that it was coming from the incubator. So I very quickly removed them from the egg turner so that none of them would get crushed as they try to get out. Trying to break out. Let me out. Good, strong set of lungs. Yeah. Well, I heard a lot of chirping. Chirp, 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 just like that. Came over and uh, found this little chicken had made its way out of this shell. I'm reluctant to help it. I want it to be able to do it on its own. But this is our first, uh, first olive egger. Wow. Should I? There you go. Hey. Good job. Okay, let's put your lid back on. You're a tiny little dude. Get the others to come out. So we heard a lot of chirping during the night. We want to see what we have here. Oh, look at that. Wow. Five. Super exciting. Oh, that one looks like it's going to hatch. Which one? That black one. I think that one is. No, I think that one was. Oh, that one I think already had a chicken come out of it. Wow, they're so cute. They are so cute. And tiny. So the chicks have been hatching for 24 hours, and we have six that have hatched. They should be nice and dry by now. They're looking fluffy and sweet, like the chicks that we're used to getting in the mail and seeing at the store. And at least one of them is half Samani. It has black legs and has the face of a Samani, which is kind of cool. And the others, we assume, unless they show some of the melanin of the Samanis, are half um, half Americana and half Papua Marin. So out of the six, we're hoping that three of them are hens and will give us some nice olive eggs. He's so nice and fluffy. Aww. That one, that one's gooey. I know, we're gonna leave it in there. definitely half copper moran. You can tell that it has the feathered feet already, which is significant of the copper morans. Homestead success.